right, for you guys joining us after the fact, I totally forgot to start the uh, uh, video, so you can join us here. We're gonna do 30 jumping jacks. So just whenever you're ready, hit that 30. <laughs> All right, let's hit that low squat stretch again. Um, again, you can turn those feet out quite a bit uh, into almost a plie position. As you get down, you can push those knees out with your elbows. And so it shouldn't be like you're holding squat. It should, be, should feel more like a stretch. Oh yeah, my Dorsey flexion is awful. All right, 10 more seconds on that. So you can rock back and forth a little bit to hit that ankle. Uh, and give me 10 more of those side lunge stretches. So lunge to the side, hit that stretch and lunge. Just 10 total. I wonder if it records how many times it tells me my internet connection is unstable. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't kill it again. If it does, stick with me. I'll be right back on. All right, so 10 more of the cat cows. So big press up, big stretch down. Nice, five more push-ups, 20 mountain climbers. Nice, good torque. Get those five push-ups in. And 20 mountain climbers. Nice work, and 30 jacks, 30 jacks. All right, so dumbbell workout today. If you don't have your dumbbells with you, take a second and grab them real quick. So we're gonna go through each exercise. Ah. It doesn't like working in these half screens. All right, I'm gonna go through pretty much a total body. Spotlight, there we go, spotlight the video. So we're gonna do alternating bicep curls, one at a time, so left to right is one, so we're gonna go 10 reps, three times through. So just a nice, good bicep curl. Start in that hammer position at your side. Get up and turn and hit that extra squeeze, extra turn at the top. So not super fast, because we probably don't have the right weights, but nice and slow, up, 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 turn and contract at the top. 10 of those and 10 tricep extensions. So put your dumbbells together, you go behind. I want your elbows to stay close to your head. 
10 tricep extensions there. Watch that back, try not to let it arch. Then we're gonna do front raises. I imagine, again, we don't have the right weight, so we'll just do it with a single dumbbell. So I'm gonna roll my shoulders back, I've got my single dumbbell, and I'm just gonna raise up in front, eye level, and back down. Nice and slow and controlled. 10 of those. If you have the right weight and you wanna do um, both arms, that's acceptable as well. Then we're gonna do bent over rows. So bent over row left. So dumbbell in left hand, right leg forward. I'm gonna get a pretty good stride back here. I uh, wanna dig that front leg in. Most of your weight should be on your front leg. Back is straight. So we're just gonna do a nice slow row. Pulling it up, trying to pinch that shoulder blade at the top. Control on the way down. Don't let it pull you back down. Try not to put this hand down. This will work that leg and that core a little bit. Next time over, we'll switch legs, switch hands. Same thing, nice, slow, and controlled. Uh, reverse fly wide. This might be one if your weights are too heavy. Uh, you can do it nice and slow with body weight. And controlled, but again, shoulders are gonna roll back. I'm gonna lean forward like I'd be doing a rope, but I'm gonna actually do a fly wide. So I'm gonna bring those elbows up nice and high. Again, trying to pinch those shoulder blades. Arms stay bent at the top. And I'm just contracting that shoulder blade. So from here, contracting that shoulder blade. Uh, reverse lunge to press. To press. Um, press on stand. So you're gonna go reverse lunge to press. So whatever um, dumbbell, whatever arm has the dumbbell, that same leg is going back. So I'm gonna go back and press up, back down, press up. That's gonna be 10 on each leg. And then we'll switch. And last one is gonna be front rack squats. So right here in the front rack, they can be sitting on the shoulders. Good stance. We're gonna go a little wider because they are a front squat, basically. So nice big squat and squeeze on the top. Hit some depth since you have some counterbalance and squeeze. So it's gonna be on your own pace, uh, but good form. All right. Any questions on that? What's that? Once and then like through the whole thing and then again? Yep. Three times, sir. So go all the way down three times. Okay. I mean, I'll okay. keep an eye on time. Maybe two works better. Um, wasn't quite sure because, again, not quite sure what weights everybody has. Uh, okay. But I'll be doing it with you. I'll keep an eye on things. And then I definitely want to make sure I make time for our finisher. So <laughs> got to get a little bit of sweat in there. All right, so whenever you are ready, start with those bicep curls. I'll throw on some music. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'll try it anyways. All right, so you have good bicep curls. Start with those to your side. Nice and slow. Make sure you finish one and then do the other. Don't, don't do them at the same time. Don't lead with that elbow, Gab. Let the dumbbell come up first. Make sure your elbow stays to your side. There you go. Nice. Good work, guys. Good work. Definitely don't follow my counting because I haven't counted yet. <laughs> nice. And tricep extensions. So get those dumbbells, put them together in front of you. We're gonna go behind you. Elbows stay in close. Drop them back and lift them up. Make sure that head's tilted forward so you don't smack yourself. And if you're gonna do that with one hand, Gavin, hold on to it long ways. So don't tilt it this way. Hold on to both hands on one side of the dumbbell. 
Nice. And front raises. Either one dumbbell or two, depending on the weight. If one is too heavy, or if uh, two is too heavy, we'll do one. Make sure those shoulders are rolled back. They stay rolled back, nice and controlled up to that eye level. Nice. Knees slightly bent on that stand. <laughs> nice and controlled, Kaylee. Keep your core tight. Nice and slow. All right, after that is bent over rows. So, dumbbell in your left hand, right leg forward. Big wide stance. And we're just going to pull and pinch that shoulder blade back. Nice work, nice work. Don't move those shoulders though, Kaylee. Keep your shoulders flat. So make sure they stay like this and just that arm moves. There you go. Nice, yes. All right, Ron, your video froze on me, so holler if you, oh, no, you're moving. What are you at, reverse fly? Reverse fly. Okay. So they're going to start here in front, arms slightly bent, and you're going to pinch up to the side. Yep, nice and controlled, good. All right, what are you guys on, bent over rows? No, we're on. Uh, reverse fly. Reverse fly, yeah. So hold those dumbbells down in front, shoulders roll back, and we're going to lift them up to the side. Nice big pinch. Try to pinch something behind your back and your shoulder blades. Elbows lead the motion. So you're up here and you're almost making like an M when you're looking at yourself. Yeah. Good work. All right, Ron, it'll be reverse lunge. To up. Whatever dumbbell has, hand has the dumbbell, the leg moves. So reverse lunge and press on the way up. Good. Ten on each side. Reverse lunge up. Good work, good work. Go ahead and leave that dumbbell up in rack position, Ron, in your okay. lunge. Work that core a little bit more. There you go. Nice. Perfect. Good work, good work. New rockers in the house. Very nice, very nice. And front rack squats when you're done with that. So both those dumbbells, nice good front rack here on those shoulders. If you need to make it a little more challenging because your weight isn't as heavy, don't rest it on your shoulders. So you can keep that out here without put either on your shoulders if it's heavy or out here for a little more challenge. Just down and up. Big squeeze at the top. Big squeeze. All the way down. <laughs> nice tight core. Remember, pretend you got 200 pounds right here in those dumbbells. All right. One time through. How are you feeling? Not too hot, not too tired. Go right into that next round. So I'm tired. Our next round of curls. Again, our weights aren't that heavy, so pretend they weigh a lot. Slow that motion down. Really hit all those points. 
Same on that tricep extension. Nice elbows, nice and close to the head, all the way down, all the way up. <laughs> Done with that, front raises, double or singles. So either way, make sure they start those shoulders rolled back. That belly button is always to your spine. Knees are slightly bent and up to eye level. Make sure it's nice and controlled. If your weight is too light, one, two, three. One, two, three. We can make a burn. Done with that. On to those rows. Good work, good work. Ten, ten this thing weighs 200 pounds and you're pulling it up and pushing it back down. Control the up, control the down. Nice. Oh, almost all that weight's on that front leg. Nice. Little more forward, Gavin. Little more forward over that leg. Nice. Work. Onto those reverse flies. Good work. So shoulders back, knees bent, lean forward, nice and wide. Remember, arms bent up here, so that way you can get that full good pinch on those shoulder blades. So arms, make sure arms stay bent on the top there. Good. Nice. Good work, Ron, good work. Right into love, reverse lunge to press. Good. Good work, good work. Lunge and press. Make sure you're finishing with that press, that biceps close to the head. Nice. Good work, good work. Woo. So front rack on the way down and press on the way up. Nice. Yeah. And when you're done with those front rack squats. Good. Remember, if you need more challenge, hold those out from you so they're not on your shoulder. Nice work, guys. Nice work. I'm feeling it. Yeah, 
I know. I wish we had heavier weights for everybody. Sorry. Something is better than nothing at this point, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, when you're done with that, start back. We'll go one more time through, and then we'll do a quick little burner. Nice. Try not to move that elbow, Missy. Let it come up. Keep that elbow by your side. Try to keep your elbow down. Yeah, there you go. Yep, use only that bicep. So it's going to come up with the hand and then twist. Nice. Very nice. Good work, guys. Good work. Nice push. There you go, Ron. Yep. If it's too light, slow it down. Slow down and up. Elbows close to the head. Good. <coughs> Oh man. Nice up and then front raises. Front raises single, front raises double. Good. Just make sure you start, shoulders back. Don't lose that shoulder back position. Oh yeah. Starting to add it. Oh my god. All right, bent over rows. Nice work, nice work on those lunges. We're on the reverse curl. Curl, oh my God. Bend over rows, Jesus. Losing my mind today already. Uh, other side if you haven't done it yet. Nice, good work. Again, you're really focusing on pinching those shoulder blades together on that back. Nice. Heck yeah. Good work. Good work. Ooh, one little bit of sweat dripping. And reverse lunge to press. Reverse lunge to press. If you really want to test that balance a little bit, you can stay on that single leg. So you can go down and up and stay on that single leg. As long as you can keep your balance up. If you get squirrely, go, go back to two. Nice. Nice work. Nice. Whiskey and a jar. And last time through front rack squats. 
So front there, wide stance, nice deep squat, big squeeze on top. Nice. Oh. All right. Hopefully that got a little bit of muscle fatigue going. A lot. Yeah, <laughs> good. All right. Make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. All right, four rounds for time. So this is one of those uh, push it hard and as fast, but as safe as you can. So it's going to be three renegade man makers. That's going to be with your dumbbells. That's going to be a dumbbells down. Going to do a there you go. A push up down. Nice good plank here. That base should be pretty wide. Row, row, pop down into a good squat position, pick those up and either clean and press, or you can swing through to that snatch. Either way, just keep that belly button to the spine. So you're gonna go three of those. So again, push up, row, row, squat. I like to snatch it up, either way. Then you're gonna do five thrusters. So thrusters are squat to a press. So get your dumbbells here, squat and press. That's one, two, you'll go to five. And then seven star jumps. So as you go here, throw those hands and arms out. To sling them together, you gotta land and load. So I'm gonna go out and land and load. Seven of those. Then you're gonna go back through four right. times. So however you need to keep count, <laughs> that's gonna be the trick. So this one is your fast and furious all out. Yeah, finish it up uh, exercise. Everybody good on the movements? Any questions? Man, I wish I had an actual timer. I'm gonna have to look at that one of these days. Let's see. Nope. All right, I'll keep time though. So you holler when you're done. All right, everybody ready? Yep. That's a yes, all right. Standing position. You ready? And go. All right, three running good man makers. Nice. Two, good work, good work. And right in the dresser. Five of those in the star jump, star jump. Nice. Grab those dumbbells. Back in your renegade man makers. So push up. Throw. Throw. Snatch up. Good work. Good work. Nice. Bring it up. Good. Good. Big squat, Gavin, big squat. All the way down, down and up. Nice. Good push. Nice. 
Nice big jumps. Nice work. Try not to move those hips on your rows, Gav. Nice. Looking good, Ron. Look at your rows. Get your pace. All right, come on. Right in those thrusters. Big squat. Big squat. All the way down. Nice. Good, Gavin. Good. All the way down. Big squat. Big push. Nice. Nice star jumps. Good work. Good work. Nice, Missy. Nice. Good. Nice work, guys. Nice work. Keep pushing. Don't forget to breathe. Burn, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and now I realized I don't push you guys as much as I should. So we're going to have to try to have some sort of AMRAP every day. Yeah. All right, catch your breath. Oh. Somebody give me an ab exercise. Um. Okay, hollow rock. Oh, my screen went. Okay, here we go. What, Missy? Butter kick, hollow rock. Hollow rocks? Do you smell hollow kick. rock and wrong? Yes, Gavin likes hollow rocks. All right, six. we'll do six rounds of hollow rocks. I don't know what that is. Ooh, you haven't done those yet? Uh -uh. All right. So a hollow rock, you're gonna kind of come back. I want you to keep your, kind of, kind of start your arms by your ears, kind of lift a leg up and kick into an arch. And you're gonna use your legs to move yourself, but always keeping that arch. Hands are always back. <laughs> so it's a little awkward at first. Around two or three usually you can get it. You guys are crazy. Yeah, I'm getting my You're fine. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a gymnast staple. Uh, well. <laughs> Did you see you? Give me a hollow rock. Uh, go down just a bit still. There you go. Can you see that? Yep. I can. Can you see him? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> see if that's bad. Now you know my pain with camera <laughs> angles. I'm always sitting anymore. Yeah. Gonna go this way. Can you see us, you know? I can see you. All right, Gavin. This way. All right. Nice big video for everybody. All right, are we ready? All right, six, 
Actually, let's do eight. Why not? Let's do eight rounds. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Standard Tabata. All right. 10 second prep time and I'm starting the prep, so get ready. Got an angle so I can actually see it. All right, five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. So nice, good, holler rock. There you go, run. The more you keep that arch, the easier it is. Lift those legs a little bit and let them fall, keeping that tight. Nice, three seconds. And time. Those of you new to this, you should shake a little bit when you're coming back up. <laughs> two, one, and round two. Let's go. Come on, Come on, One in time. Oh. <laughs> I'm dying. That's only two. You can't be dying yet. <laughs> One and round three. Let's go. Round three, round three. Nice. Halfway there. Three seconds, two, one, and time. Nice work, nice work. Yeah, baby. Two seconds, one, and go. Round four. Sweet oh, abs. Three seconds. And time. Woo! Halfway through, halfway through. Oh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Three seconds. Two, one, and go. Oh. Very nice, very nice. Oh yeah. Oh. If you need to take a quick break, take it. Stretch those abs out. Come back into it. One second. Time. Time. Very nice. Very nice. Three, two, one, and go. Round six. Round six. Nice work. Nice work. Come on. Halfway there. Halfway there. Three seconds, two, one, and time. Nice work. Two more rounds, two more rounds. Two seconds, one, and go. Round seven, round seven. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice work. Two, one, and time. That's the end of round seven. One more, one more. One more. Twenty more seconds. Two, one, and go. Oh yeah, this round sucks. Keep pushing through. Pushing through. No, you do it. Oh, yeah. Come on. And time. Oh. Woo. That was rough. Oh. Glad we did eight, though. You guys are crazy. <laughs> we'll do banana rolls next. Oh, yes, please. Banana rolls, did you, did you do those ones yet? I think so, once. Yeah, I think I made, you, made you do them last week, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, those are fun. We used to have to do them all the way down the floor and back. A few times. Oh, man. Remember doing that? Doing <sighs> what? The banana rolls. 
The rolls so. all the way down, these guys. Yeah. This one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like those two now. Nope. <laughs> I like them. They were fun. <laughs> yeah, over and over, all the way down, all the way back. I can't do much in here because it's too hard. It'll bruise your hips. Oh, yeah. You're all right. What does all everybody right. need? Let's go, uh, let's run through the hip uh, stretch real quick. The hip mobility. So, arm out, or leg out in front, 90. Push that one that's down. Let's add some upper body while we're at it. So, roll those shoulders back and pull that, uh, whatever leg is down, pull that same arm across the front. Yeah. And kick that front leg out, lean down into it. And back on that front leg, forward in step stretch. So hands on the inside. Whatever hand is closest to your foot, let's pick it up and twist. So come out and twist. Back down, twist up. I'll do the nail, but I'm not going to stick stuff. All right, let's walk those hands over, drop it in the pigeon. Forward, over that leg, all the hoops. And pull that through, hit that frog stretch. Oh, yeah. And bring it up and throw the other leg in front. So hip flexor stretch. Pull the left arm forward. So roll that shoulder back and then pull it forward. On that other arm, whatever the leg is down, the arm is up. Don't forget, keep, keep squeezing the glute of the leg that's down. I'll do the narrow. And kick that leg forward. Pull that half and hamstring stretch. Plop that front leg back on your foot. Come down into it. Again, arm that's closest. Let's twist out and come back down. All right, drop over into pigeon. So leg in front is straight across, leg up behind, go straight back, and lean over that front leg. Ooh, that's painful. And one last time in the frog stretch. Okay. Oh. All right. Good work, guys. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, Thank you, You're welcome.